Let's consider the following computer program. If we look at the first line, it simply says welcome is assigned hello world. Now what this will do, it'll create an object of the string class and this object will take up the value of hello world. And I'm going to show this particular value as illustrated here. You can see I've labeled it with welcome, which is the identifier for the variable. And the string hello world can be seen to be within this particular what is described as a data structure. And if you look carefully at it, you can see we have the word hello, then a space, and then the word world. And if we count how many characters we have in here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And what we must realize is this space here is a character. So this is a string that contains 11 characters and is therefore said to have a length of 11. And here you can see that I am taking a program statement and I've invented this variable name here, length of string, and I'm making it equal to the len, which is a function for length, to which I'm passing welcome. Now if we look at the following program statement here, I'm simply showing it a, in a larger size, and if we model this now onto a useful schematic diagram that represents a function, and you will have seen these earlier in the playlist, it's here. What we're going to do, we're going to take welcome and we're going to pass it as an input to this function and we're going to get an output and the output in this case is going to be the length of the content of the variable welcome which we should know is 11 and this 11 will now be passed actually to this particular variable and then of course if we look at this line we're simply going to print the length of the string so the output we should get is as you can see here. Here you can see a slight modification of the program we've just considered. And if we look at this line, welcome is assigned h. And what we have here, we have a string that is just one character long. So if we have a look down here, we can see that I've showed that, as you can see with this, and we've attached a label to it, that's welcome. And of course, that label is because that's the name of the variable identifier that you can see here. And of course, if we now look at this program statement, which I'm going to show larger here, and we reflect this onto the schematic model we've already seen for the previous program, we're going to take the welcome, we're going to pass that into this function. The function is then going to tell us how long the string is, and clearly it's going to have a length of 1, and that length of 1 is now going to be passed to this particular variable length of string, and then we look at the program and we can see that it says print the length of the string and of course we're going to get this output here and it's going to show us that the length of the string is 1. Here we can see a further modification to the program and the modification can be seen on this line where welcome is assigned and there's two lots of double quotes with nothing in between. So what we've created here is an empty string and we can show that down here where we have the label and the label is attached to an empty string. In other words, it contains no characters. Now we can go on to look at the second program statement, which I'm showing larger here, and we can reflect this now onto the schematic diagram we've already considered, which is shown here. So welcome, which is the variable name, the variable identifier, is passed to the function len, and what will happen is it will work out what the length of the string is and will pass it to the variable length of string. And of course now the program is going to print length of string and when it does what it's going to give us is this output here clearly showing us that the length of the string is zero. Let's consider the original program we looked at at the beginning of this particular video and that's shown here and we can see welcome is assigned hello world and then length of string is assigned the length of welcome the len of welcome and then we print the length of the string and we can see here that we had the len as part of an assignment statement and of course when this program runs we actually get this particular output here of 11. Now we don't have to have the len being part of an assignment statement what we can do, we can do it as shown here. Welcome is assigned hello world, and then we print, 
and in brackets you can see we have the function len and we're passing it the variable welcome and when this program runs it gives us the same output of 11 and we'll see later in the playlist that len can be used elsewhere for example it can be used in the range function check out the supporting website for these videos and also consider subscribing to the youtube channel and get an automatic update every time i upload a new video also consider subscribing to the google plus circle that relates to these videos